Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the apply method in JavaScript. So the apply method is a method of the function object and basically it allows you to call a function but instead of passing in the arguments as a comma separated list, you're passing them in as an array instead. And it also lets you specify the value of the this keyword. So let's just start this by um, showing with an example. So let's define a new function up here and call this function sum. This function will just return the result of the two arguments A and then B. Okay, inside the body we'll just say return A plus B. So pretty straightforward simple function. All right, we can actually call this function using the apply method passing in A and B as an array instead. So down here, let's call the apply method on the sum function. So we'll say sum and then dot apply. All right. This method takes in two arguments. The first one being the value of the this keyword. We'll look at this later on. All right. So I'm going to put null inside there for now. Uh, sorry, for now. And um, the second argument will actually be the array of arguments. So let's put an array inside here. We'll put two square brackets and then something like five and ten. Okay, so now this will actually give us fifteen. Five plus ten is fifteen. We have A and B right there. So let's just um, let's just make a new constant for that result equal to that function call, and then console.log the result inside there. So now if I save this and refresh the browser we get 15 right there. So we see how we're actually um, assigning the A and B parameters using an array at index zero and at index one. All right, if I change this to five, five and five, that gives us 10. Refresh and we get 10 right there. All right, so now just keep in mind that with this sort of syntax and this method, you might want to actually use it alongside the arguments special variable inside your function. So inside the function body, we have a special um, variable called arguments. And this is going to contain um, essentially an array like structure um, with the actual arguments that you provide. So essentially, you're basically getting a <laughs> sorry, you're getting access to that array right there using the arguments keyword. So this means we can treat this like an array to a certain extent. So let's just change this function body to instead give us the sum of this array. So inside here, we're going to start with a simple for loop. Uh, we we'll would say for let i equal zero, i less than arguments dot length. Okay. And then i plus plus. So in this case here, it's going to be let i equal 0, 0 less than 2. There's two arguments in here, so we're going to get 2 right there. So now we're going to just define a new variable for the sum equal to 0 for now, and then just say sum plus equals, and then we'll pass in uh, arguments and then i. Okay, now we're going to just simply just return sum. So now we're adding up um, the, the sum for all the arguments passed in using the apply method. So now um, we can actually get rid of these two parameters. Okay. We're now using um, the arguments command, sorry, the, um, the argument special variable to gain access to those two arguments. So now if I save this one and then refresh the browser, we get 10 the same result. If I was to change this to something like 25, we should now get 30 in the console. Refresh and we get 30 right there. This is good because I can actually go inside here and add, for example, one. So five, 25 and one. Refresh and we get 31. So this is endless basically. You can add 10, 90, 80. It's gonna add them all up. All right, boom. So. That's why it's actually quite useful. Now, back to the null and the this argument here. Um, 
we can actually specify the value um, for the this keyword within this function. Okay, so let's just simply console.log this. Okay, and now I'm going to just get rid of the null here and put an object inside here instead. So let's put an object inside here with two two properties, something like name is Dominic and the age is 56. All right. So now if I save this and refresh the browser, we get um, that object printed out to the console. So the first argument here is going to be the value of the this keyword within this function. All right. And that is how you can use the apply method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.